Hello and welcome to Web Expenses and, and welcome to today's session. Um, my name's Chris. I'm one of the account management team here at Web Expenses. And today I'll be showing you all around the Web Expenses system. Uh, so I'll be showing you how to set up your profile initially, how to pair your mobile device to your Web Expenses account, and then also how to capture your receipts, submit them for approval, and just how to get a really great experience from the Web Expenses system. We'll start off here on our homepage, which is where we're first going to come to when we log into the system off that initial welcome email we get. And you can see there's there's a number of things I can do on this page here. I can view my claims. Uh, I can view any receipts that I've previously uploaded into the system here. Um, I can view any sort of notifications or messages that may come from the web expenses team. Uh, and I can also view the expense policy that my company has loaded into the system as well. Uh, I can also contact our fantastic 24 hour a day support team uh, just by tapping on the help button here underneath my name in the top right hand corner or by tapping the support button in the bottom left hand corner here. Uh, and I can also come to view my settings page, which is a really crucial area of the system and really somewhere that you should be checking out when you first get your account set up for you. Um, a number of things we can do in this page here. We can change our password at any time. We can set up sort of email alerts that we're going to get from the system. Um, we can choose for somebody else to be able to proxy into our account and do things on our behalf if we wish to. Uh, and really importantly as well, you can add your vehicle details to the system. Um, and for those of you that use a vehicle specific mileage rate, it's really important that you come in and enter these vehicle details into the vehicle tab. Um, ultimately, you won't be able to claim mileage within the system until you've done this. Uh, so it's a really, really important area to come and take a look at when you first log into the system. Once you set up your settings and you've got your account already ready for you, what we need to do is come and pair it to our mobile device. Uh, so Web Expenses is available on you know, the website. It's also available on Android, iPhone as well. Um, just search for Web Expenses within the Play Store or the App Store, and it's a free to download, uh, fully free application. Um, and it's really, really easy to use. It's a really, really great resource as well for when you're out on the go and, and you're looking to sort of claim your expenses there in, in sort of instant time. Um, so once you've downloaded the mobile application and you've opened it up for the first time, we simply need to come to the devices tab here within, within our web page. Uh, if you come into this page, you need to tap on the pair device tab, which is going to open up a QR code here um, or a QR sort of pairing code should, should you be unable to, to use the QR code generated. But all we're going to need to do is scan this into the system here. Um, we just confirm that within the mobile application, we're able to start using this straight away. Uh, so you don't have to worry about sort of logging in and out each time you come into the app. You don't have to worry about, you know, not being able to access the system because you forgot your password when you're on the go and things like that. As long as you scan this QR code into your mobile application, be able to use it anytime. And it just makes it a really, really easy thing to do. So let's go ahead and, you know, we're going to open up that app and we're going to start looking at just how easy it is to use uh, and how quickly you can get those receipts into the app and with your approver, uh, you know, ready for payment, which is what we all want. So now I've paired up my mobile device to my web expenses account. I can come in and start submitting my receipts, my claims and really start getting that expense process moving. You can see here in the page, I've got a number of things I can look at. I can look at, you know, the outstanding claims I've got, what's expected to be paid back to me, what's been approved, etc. Um, I can look at my claim history. So what I've previously submitted, I can also look at the notifications as well to say, you know, what's been approved, what's been rejected. Although I will get those notifications in real time as well, which is a really great feature of the system. Uh, and they'll come through as push notifications to my app should I choose to. I can also tap to have a quick tour of the system as well, which is a really great little feature of the system. If you ever need just a little bit of help about how the mobile application works, just to refresh your knowledge and things like that, you can come through, have a scroll through our quick tour. <clears throat> really, really easy. Just see what's going on with that mobile application as well. Along the bottom of the screen here, you'll see that we've got a homepage, a claims page, 
our receipts page where we can upload and view previously uploaded receipts. And also if you tap on more, you can view your settings and your profile within the system. Uh, you can also contact our support team straight from the mobile application, which is great. Uh, and you can also add another profile to the mobile application should you wish to, which is a really great way of being able to switch between various accounts within the system. So once we've got our mobile device set up and working alongside our web expenses profile, what we can do is we can go straight in and start creating those claims, submitting those receipts and getting everything ready for payment. Uh, the easiest way to do this is simply to tap the blue plus button at the bottom of the screen and you'll see we get the choice to add a claim item or a receipt. If I've got the receipt in front of me and I you know, just wanna create a claim straight off it, I'm just gonna tap on the receipt button and it's gonna open up the camera here on my phone. I simply need to get a good copy of the receipt in front of me, nice and clear, and hit the tick button in the top right-hand corner. The system's gonna give it a nice crop. It's gonna let me know sort of the best sort of possible version of that receipt it can get. And when I'm happy with it, just hit the green tick at the bottom of the screen. As you can see, the Web Expenses OCR technology is now coming in and it's doing a lot of the work for me. Uh, so it can see that my date is set within the system. It's picking up the amount from the receipt, which is great. Uh, it's picking up a description from the receipt as well, although I can overwrite this if I want, just by tapping the X and writing in my own description. But for now, I'm happy to explain that was my flat white in the morning. What I do need to do with this receipt, however, is add a category to it and any other analysis fields that my company is using. Um, everyone will have different categories based on the organization that you're working for. But what we need to do is choose the category that is the most relevant to what you're claiming. Uh, so in this case, I might choose a meal as this is something that I purchased at a coffee shop here. Um, other things I need to be careful about is any departments that I'm using, any projects that I might be using as well. So I'm just going to fill in these bits of information on the claim here. And I also need to be very careful about the VAT rate that's been, been chosen. This will be defaulted for you based on the category that you select. Uh, but as you can see here, actually, my receipt is set to a 5% VAT rate. This is going to be very important for my finance team as well. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm gonna choose my reduce rate to bring that amount down to just the 5% that it needs to be. If I want to, I can even go in and add an attendee so I can mention that somebody else was here with me. And I can even add a split as well to split this out over multiple categories, multiple VAT lines. I can associate it to different departments and projects as well, which is a really, really great feature. Uh, but in this instance, this is just a single cost that I've incurred. It's all related to the same project, the same department, and I'm happy to go through and just create this as an item within the system. So all I'm gonna do, hit the green tick at the bottom, and I'm gonna add this to my claim. I could save it to my receipts and use it for later. For now, I'm gonna hit add to claim. What you'll see now is this brings up my claim list within the system. So I've not got anything that's currently outstanding, so there's nothing else that I can put it into. So I'm just gonna to tap to add it to a new claim. And I simply need to choose the title of this claim. Uh, in this instance, I'm going to call this maybe my May expenses or my June expenses or something similar to that. So let's just choose that as my May expenses. I can add some notes to this if I want, although it's, it's really up to you. It's a completely optional field. Uh, and my cost center and my approver are already going to be pre-selected uh, based on what my company has set me up with. So as soon as I hit that green tick, that's now created that item for me within a claim. And it's gonna take me back into my home screen. Uh, you can see if I come into my claim history, I can see that claim now. Uh, I can come in and edit it if I want to, just by tapping on the claim there. And I can edit the item as well, just by tapping onto it. It's gonna bring up the receipt. It's gonna bring up the information as well. Uh, it's just gonna give me a really sort of easy way of changing that if there's anything that's incorrect. Uh, if I want to add another item to this claim, really, really simple. Just tap into the claim itself and just tap to add either an item or a receipt. Uh, so I've already got one receipt into the system, uh, but what else can we claim through web expenses? Well, um, obviously things like hotels, coffee, subsistence, they're all gonna be working off receipts. Uh, one thing that sort of won't, one thing that will be different to claim within the system is the mileage. So any mileage that you do for business purposes. And this again, really, really easy to do. 
Uh, so we're just going to tap now to add a claim item because I don't actually have a receipt in front of me. Uh, again, this time I'm going to choose my category up front. So I'm going to choose my mileage uh, and I'm going to choose the date that I traveled. So, you know, I'm going to match it up to this coffee that I purchased and I'm going to do it on the, the 20th of May. Uh, and I'm going to put in a description for what this was. So let's just say this was a trip to a, a trip to visit a customer. And what I also need to do is put in my from and my two destinations there. So this can be anything from postcodes. It can be town names. It can be street names as well. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on that and it's going to bring up my map here. So let's just do it from uh, the office here at Web Expenses. And we're going to send it over to, you know, the nearest town along. We're going to go to Oxford on a trip to go see a customer. Tap the go button on the screen. It's going to generate that uh, journey and it's going to show me the quickest route between those two points. Uh, now, what I can do is if I wanted to, I could just use any of these sort of waypoints, any of these white dots. I could just drag that if I've got an alternate route, which is a really, really useful thing. You know, say there was traffic on this road here. I could simply drag that down and bring that out of the way. Equally, if I've gone to another destination or I've added another point to that, you can just tap the uh, edit destination here and I can add another point to it. So let's just say we've gone on to London afterwards. Hit go there and it's going to create a multi-point journey as well. I just now need to choose the rate within the system. So I'm going to choose this private rate. And this is the rate that was associated to my user profile earlier within the system. And again, I just need to ensure that my department and my project are set within this claim as well. Once I'm happy with this item, simply hit the green tick at the bottom of the screen. And this is going to save that item within the claim that you've already created. So once we've got our claim and we are ready to, you know, submit this over for approval, this is maybe everything that I'm going to purchase this month. Uh, I simply need to hit the submit button at the bottom of the page here. Um, I can add some notes to my claim if I wish to, although again, this is a completely optional field. Uh, but say I've gone uh, further on a mileage claim or I'm missing a receipt or something like that that I want my approver to know about, I can add the claim notes here. Uh, what I'll do in the meantime is I'm just going to hit the green tick and that's submitted my claim over now and that's gone for approval. You'll see it's come out of my claims list and it's updated my homepage to now show that this is a submitted claim and I've got £39.50 that has been submitted. Um, if I want to unsubmit that for any reason, I can simply tap into the claim history tab here, swipe onto the claim and I can tap the red button to unsubmit this claim. This is going to allow me to edit it. I can make changes. I can add items to it. Uh, and it's just much easier than creating a new one and creating more work for everybody. Um, what I can then do is go back into my claims once I've made those chains, tap my option and I'm going to submit that back over to my approver there. And that's gone through and I can just now wait for that to be paid. And of course, I'll receive notifications through the mobile app and through email every step of the way. So I know exactly what's happening with that claim. And that's really how easy it is to make a claim in the web expenses system. Our aim for everybody is to be able to make a claim as quickly and as easily as possible. Uh, ideally, within, you know, 20, 30 seconds of getting that receipt, you should be able to get a claim into the phone and with your approver ready for ready for approval and eventual payment. Um, it's always worth checking with your finance teams or your managers how often that claim run gets done. Um, if you're claiming on a weekly basis, if you're paid on a bi-weekly or a monthly basis, it's really worth keeping your claims in line with those. Um, and things like company policy and things like that, it's always worth checking those policy documents that your company would have loaded into the system. Uh, this is going to tell you about spend limits, about rules, about what you can and can't claim within the system. So they're really useful documents for you to check out before you start the spend process. If there are any questions at all that you've had about anything that you've seen in this video, uh, then please do get in touch with us either by contacting your account manager, contacting the support team, 
uh, or getting in touch with us on the socials or the details at the end of this video here. And somebody will be more than happy to talk you through any questions at all that you have. I really hope you've enjoyed this video uh, and just seeing how quick and easy the web expenses system is and how user friendly it is for getting your claims submitted to your approvers as well. Um, and we really do hope that you enjoy using the system and that it makes your expense claiming process much, much easier and much, much quicker. Um, thank you for your time today in watching and I uh, hope you all have a great week and enjoy using the system. Thank you very much. Bye now.